We are. Today, guys, we're expecting some very important guests yeah. from Classic Fine Foods. Classic Fine Foods. The, the big guy of them in UAE is coming to enjoy Today, Mar to the Margaret Kitchen. But no pressure on us. No pressure on me. So, not on, on you? Oh, not on me. No. I have no pressure today. Yeah, really, Which we have I'm today. Nervous. I'm nervous. We have to move. And a lot of people will come today. Huh? Okay. Some of them are top big. people. I like your shoes, the way. What's wrong with my shoes? <laughs> nice, no? yeah, I like them. <laughs> we as non-French, we will show the French today how okay. the food has to be. So, as always... <laughs> oh. 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 Funny joke, it was a funny joke. Very no funny. Problem. Do you speak French? Yeah. Bonjour, je m'appelle Ryan. Je m'appelle? <laughs> oh. Neck in uh, French. Fucking <laughs> But don't, don't show that. Huh? <laughs> Sal, you're Italian. Why don't you what? know what a lamb neck is in French? What? They don't have the same ingredients. So, le, le favorite vegetables? Celery. Yeah. You want me to do that? No, I, don't, I did it already. Okay, there we go. <laughs> don't do that. Save, save my fingers. Some more rosemary. Onions, celery, garlic, uh, rosemary, and that's a couple of bay leaves. Le neck. Celery in pieces. Garlic, yes, chef. Okay. That's just pure efficiency. <laughs> like, don't even chop it in half. Just drop the whole thing in. This broth is going to uh, be boiling and cooking for one and a half hours. Okay. Why should I start to peel you my, uh, you my garlic and You're a busy and guy. Don't do that. Don't do that. In we the go. Taste comes out the same. Can I throw the cucumbers in like that as well? No, oh. thank you so much. <laughs> very French look. Nice, very nice. That's the way you dirty <laughs> the kitchen. And this Lynette was in the way. You have to aim. I'm, space. Yeah, that's, that's what I was doing. Look. It's your it, look. It's his celery. He's, he's, he, he tricked me there. He put his celery in the bottom, and it's got a ridge on it like this. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's a T-boy It's the celery. The that's celery's ruining it. We bring it to a boil. A salt. Oh, it's generous sprinkling. Yeah. Shimiji mushrooms. Nice. Look at this. Yeah. We use them all all the time in yeah. the Sheffield. Yeah. I sent uh, Ryan the ingredients. Shimiji. Tell me, are going to do sushi today? When it said shimiji mushrooms, I was like, Yeah. Lamb it's, it's sushi. Up. To prepare your shimiji mushrooms in Sheffield, just yeah. like this, right? Exactly. Don't cut too much. Don't cut too much. See respect the product exactly we've got the inside mushrooms, they're all going to fall apart which no, is no, very don't normal. let them fall apart no don't let them do that <laughs> so salt some of our halal wine yeah oh wow and be marinated potatoes we are not going to peel That's very good news for me water right? half covered you know yeah. the salt mm -hmm. Bring it into a boil. Yeah. Let the water vaporize. The salt goes into the potato. Yeah. Some olive oil on top. Finished. Finished. So what's yeah. what's next? Exactly what I said just okay. now. <laughs> we like pies in Sheffield. Pies. Pies. Yeah, we love pies. Like mm. pies, bread, any form of complex carbohydrate. Like all Brussels sprouts. Yeah. They're from Sheffield. Yeah. They were, yeah. They were born and bred in Sheffield. But they call they are called Brussels sprouts. One year after I had my chef diploma, went to Munich. At that time, Joe Gassa, he was the chef de cuisine of the chef of the century in Germany. Uh -huh. Genius. But crazy, crazy person I have ever encountered in my life. He's feeling, he's, he's cooking out of this world, but we had the kitchen. The chef was always watching TV, but TV, not uh, regular movies. We had very bad movies running 24 hours in our kitchen. <laughs> So imagine, so it was one of the most popular uh, cuisine, uh, restaurants in Munich at that time. Okay. Fantastic Mediterranean cuisine. Don't want to have the inside of the cucumber because we don't want to have so much liquid. Cucumber taste, we want to have this mushroom taste, you know? So add it to our uh, pomery mustard sauce and of course the star, the neck. So we'll vaporize and the salt starts to crystallize, you know, around the potatoes. Fast, you're going, huh? I'm going to get a speeding ticket, I'm going that fast. San Marzano or Roma tomato. We want the liquid to vaporize out, only the, the taste to remain in the tomato. Where do you get the inspiration from, you know, to create your own style? This zucchini puree, I remember it was cooked by uh, Jean-Claude Bourgoy. He was cooking it. I find it's actually the best way to, to create this combination of flavors. But this dish comes from Jogasa. I learned it as uh, in Munich. That, that puree in Düsseldorf by Jean-Claude Bourgoy. The dishes and the styles let you create your own style. Then. I just made my own style of cutting cucumbers, so I just like to do it like this. Nice. Why is the cucumber here, here and there? <laughs> you know, get it into the bowl and then that's what happened. We, we, we overshot it. Okay. This chef had only two teeth. 
Okay. Because everything else was like, he was smoking a lot and drinking a lot. It was broken somehow. Nice heart, uh -huh. but totally, I have never really, you know, the, the respect to the product. Uh, it was so him that you learned he was, he was the base. He was the base. He started. His taste, nobody else I have seen in the world having this taste. Expecting simplicity, authenticity by him. He taught us to cook. And even the pomery master, Joe Gassa, he was as tall as I am. But imagine like with 60, 70 kg more. How old are these guys now? Must be now uh, 60. How old does he look? 85, 90. You know, we were nine, nine people in the kitchen. Not that he was screaming. He was throwing pans and pots and plates and glasses and made a great revenue. In the evening, taking money, he was taking us out. Yeah? To, to celebrate. And the next day, he, he comes at two, three o'clock in the afternoon, but we had to start again at eight o'clock. So. Again, like the cucumber, the green part of the zucchini, because I would like to have the provincial green zucchini yeah. puree. Out of onion, garlic, thyme, bay leaf, zucchini, and then later on, you see that? Uh, blended with butter, fresh butter. Finish chef. That might be the reason why a lot of chefs have a certain <laughs> belly, because they want to hide their waist. <laughs> crystallized salt, crystallized potatoes. No? Nice. The cucumber is on the side, look at it. So salt them always in the beginning to have this beautiful onion sweetness, which makes the dish smooth later on. This is the taste we want from this onion now. And take your time, patience, patience, patience. I told you, I won the pancake flipping competition in 2006. Yeah, you okay. had to put your arm in the same style you are doing, huh? Yeah, of course. That was one of elegant. the conditions. Like, you know, well, that's not, that's not elegant. It's elegant. This is, this is more... Sounds... Try. This, the way this like Yeah, that. like this, like... See, you look, you look fantastic. <laughs> but that doesn't look elegant. <laughs> 100 covers outside, everybody's screaming and your elegant chef is doing this, <laughs> this movement. <laughs> it needs another 45 minutes, I would say. He touches it, he's like... Mm. I'm like a human thermometer, yeah, uh, 45 minutes more. How do you know? How? I'm arranging it. We want to blend it with fresh butter yep. and let the liquid rinse it's away. It's just a little bit, you know, it's a little bit I feel the there. same heat as you, but I, you know. You block it out. Everything in life is mind over matter. If you think it, you, you can see, do it. It's a ritual channel as well. We don't yeah. really cook, but we give you life advice on how to conduct yourself in a more productive manner. A little white wine here. Okay. And let it reduce. So the process is here. Uh, the white wine is going to be reduced till until the bottom. Yeah, I will add the pomerine mustard, a little bit it. salt, nothing else. Okay. In the meanwhile, chef. In the <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, man. No, because you don't do that. Can, can you show Ryan how to whisk? It's getting rid of that halal flavor. Into our blender. Can you blend it now, please? Yes. Half blend. Butter. Into Continue it. blending, please. Look at that. I take a little bit from my amazing liquid here out. Add into Ooh. the... Let's see how our lamb leg looks like. Spinning on the top. Delicious fat. Fantastic, no? Add the tomato to reheat the tomato and to get a little bit liquid out of them. The zucchini puree into our pan. Our zucchini puree is ready. Place the sugar with the stems of rosemary, yeah? Added our wine on top, yeah? And let it reduce now till the bottom. Zucchini puree. Zucchini puree, well done, fantastically done. Marinated shimeji mushrooms, cucumber. Perfectly chopped by myself perfectly earlier. Perfectly chopped up by Ryan, and salted also by Ryan. To reduce the water, Fantastic. lamb neck. And then here, <laughs> the sugar itself in the white wine. And of course we have the Le Gras leg and the tomatoes that are just letting out a little bit of water there. Yeah. Le Mar Gras neck. It's nearly ready, so we take the, the neck out. A little bit of salt. That's the middle part of our garlic. Oh yeah. Okay. Goes there. Yep. Le Mar Gras leg. Absolutely sensational. A bit hot, but okay. It's crazy, we're crazy now. Okay. Yeah? <laughs> it just came out the oven. <laughs> Game I have volume. a strategy for that bone if you would like me to get rid of it. Oh, no. No, no, no I don't want to. Sure. Get... I got you. If you if you need it, I got you. Thank you so much. You see how shiny it looks? Amazing. The lamb gaining volume. It's, that will be the flavor of our of our glaze. 
smashing with the salt, you know. It's like yeah. Le Mans. We became friends. Yeah, you're Le Manso. Le Manso. <laughs> this is Le, Le Reduction. It's, it's, it's a normal lamb. Do you think you could have uh, done the same? No, it's not possible. It's still impossible. After like 20 minutes, they should sponsor this video. With how many times I've showed these glow. Wow. This is a real gravy, no? Yeah. Just, it's just going to be sensational. Yes. I just can't wait to taste this. I just wish you could taste it. It's, you can't tell, sorry. There is no taste for you, Sal. It's incredible. Brilliant. This one I bought yesterday. I'm gonna get a commie chef out here. Can you have a... I see. Can you please focus? On... <laughs> yeah, I can focus, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry for your loss. <laughs> Magnifique. Magnif Magnifique. You switch off here, that was my... It's hot. Don't, as, as I told you, if it's hot, you don't think about the heat. You think only about the results coming later on. I don't know how he hides the paint because that is hot. Okay, take take a bowl with cold water, but we don't have cold water. <laughs> we don't have any cold water. What is the meat more? Excellent. Whipped cream inside. Very simple ingredients. Outcome will be out of this world. Bang! The lake there. Bang. Well, our videos go wild. Look at that. The guests are waiting, so we have to... We have to go. 